Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a mid-July reading for you. This is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This reading is not for everybody, it's for somebody, I don't know who. I'm going to do it a little bit different this time. I'm going to do you and them, you and the other person. We're going to see what comes up. So, what do we have for Aquarius? What do we have for Aquarius? From now until mid-July, okay? What do we got for Aquarius? Well, now one side will be you and one side will be the other person. Ooh. Well, Aquarius, looks like we have we have somebody here that is very structured, organized, in control. We have a leader, we have a boss. All right, this guy, you know, is very authoritative. He knows what he wants. He's family-oriented. You know, he's very decisive. Over here, we have somebody who is emotionally unavailable, doesn't know what they want. So you could be dealing with somebody who, you know, is withdrawn, complacent, uses emotional blackmail as a tactic. You know, that's what we got over here. We got somebody here that really doesn't have anything to offer. You could be dealing with somebody who doesn't have good intentions. Um, this is avoiding challenge. Um, there's, there could be some doubts here. You may be doubting your authority. You may be doubting your strength. Okay, don't doubt yourself, okay, because you're very strong. You are very strong. You are very highly respected. Okay, I think that you are a very powerful individual. People probably look up to you. Okay, um, whoever you're dealing with, they may uh, bring about some power struggles in your life. They, they, this person, you know, you you could be dealing with somebody who deals with a lot of inner conflict within themselves, and they bring that on to you. It's a constant battle, perhaps. Uh, you may be dealing with an individual who is financially insecure, somebody who doesn't really focus on love that much. They're more interested in their money, right? They're more interested in their job or their things or their possessions, whoever you're dealing with. I feel like you don't want to deal with this. I feel like you probably don't want to deal with this challenge because you, you know, you probably know who you are. Um... Yeah, I feel like you guys are making conscious changes in your life. I think that you're not wanting to hold on to any baggage. I feel like um, oh, this is breaking free. This is personal freedom, the Ten of Wands reverse. I think that you guys are really, really strong during this time. Um, you're, you're, you're... <laughs> You have doubts, though. You need to stop doubting yourself. You need to stop doubting your, your power. You need to stop doubting your strength. You need to stop doubting your ability to, you know, take control of whatever the, the situation is. You have the knowledge. You have the skills. And you have people, you know, behind your back. You are highly respected. I, I see your doubts. I see your lack of self-confidence, your lack of self-esteem. You know, you need to change your, 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 this is making a conscious change to change your, outlook per se, okay? Some of you um, may be starting your own business or you may be your own boss, you may be thinking about it. If you are thinking about it, this, you do have an opportunity to break free and prosper, Okay, you you have the skills to be the boss. You have the skills to succeed, but you can't let doubt. You can't let self pity or low self esteem or low self confidence get in the way. All right, um, lack of faith in yourself. Believe in yourself. Listen to your gut. Don't doubt yourself or your gut for one minute. Um, oh my God, you guys are probably dealing with a fire sign. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or you're needing to really find your strength in your perseverance, okay? It feels like you, you, you may tend to give up because you don't know how strong you are, okay? Don't give up. Don't give up on yourself. 
Okay, don't give up on yourself. Don't don't let your own self, you know, lack of, you know, your own self doubt, your own self, you know, lack of self confidence, you know, hold you back. I really feel like you guys are are stronger than you know. Um, this is a union, the two of cups. This is a partnership. You may be avoiding a partnership or avoiding, you know. A breakup because you 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 know because this is breaking free you uh, uh, breaking up a marriage you may be avoiding it or you may be avoiding getting into a new partnership because of your own fears definitely definitely and it feels like you have an opportunity perhaps to connect with somebody that is very well suited for you but you may be a fearing commitment or you may be fearing um, dealing with the challenge of a divorce or dealing with the challenge of a breakup that's in the way of a new commitment. You know, you, you, you probably, you know, have an opportunity for a, a perfect partnership here, whether it's with love or work, but you're going to have to face your fears and you're going to have to let that doubt go out the window. You're going to have to make a conscious change to drop those fears, to drop the the heaviness that's weighing you down now this is dropping weight too some of you may be being weighed down by some weight you may have a self-image problem i mean you may you may that could be an issue you know the perfect partnership isn't going to um judge you on your weight but i don't know where that's coming from Let's look at this other person over here. Um, ooh, you may be you may be dealing with a person that is um, very critical. This person is critical. This person is is cutthroat. This person rushes. This person um, doesn't see your value. They don't they don't see your worth. They have other options. They cause confusion. They may use emotional blackmail as a tactic. Whoever you're dealing with, it doesn't feel like they're fully invested in you. You know, they're holding you down in some way. They they don't support you in some way. They're only in it for themselves, this person is. This person doesn't care who they hurt. This person may escape reality. You know, this person may like to escape reality. They may have addictions. This person... Um, you may, this person may, may make you feel, um, they may smother you. They may not be a good parent. This person, um, likes to fight a lot, unfortunately. This person does. And I feel like you've gotten to a point where you just want to be happy. You know, I just want to be happy. I think you're dealing with somebody who doesn't value you and they, it's like they, it's like an energy thief. It's like they steal your energy. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. It feels like whoever you are dealing with, they probably are elusive, you know. They probably have other options and they probably, you know, that's probably why things aren't growing. That's probably why things aren't there's no growth here. That's why things have gone stale because it feels like this whoever it is that you're dealing with is probably um, emotionally unavailable to you, you know, and they, they may say hurtful things, you know, they, they just don't see your value, put it that way. They don't see your value, um, whether it's a partnership, a work partnership, or it's an actual partner. I feel like you're dealing with somebody who... Um, they're not really invested, and I think it's because, you know, they, they have other options. I think that they have other options, and I feel like you, they've, they've gotten you to the point where they've brought your self-esteem down. They've brought your self-worth down. They, may, they have made, may have made you feel like you're not worthy, but I have to tell you that you are. Okay, you are. You are very strong. You are very capable. You are very highly respected. And I think that you have an opportunity here for a union with somebody that is perfect for you, a partnership, a perfect partnership. But you got to let go of those fears and those doubts. And, you know, you got to change your outlook. You got to take a new approach. And you got to, you know, shed the heavy weight, whether the heavy weight is this person or this 
situation, whatever. There's some heaviness that needs to be shed so that you can, you know, prosper. Okay, I, I just feel like somebody has really brought your self-esteem down and you need to get it back. You need to take back control of your life. You got to you got to face this challenge head on. You got to face this individual head on, you know, with a with a with a with a clear stance. You know, you need to you need to stand in your power and you need to look this person right in the face and say, you know what? I'm the boss of me. I am who I am. And if you don't like it hit the road, whatever. This is what I want. I'm the boss of my own life. So you are the boss. You are the boss and you need to own that. So you probably have an opportunity for, for some sort of partnership with somebody that, you know, will respect you. But you have to respect yourself first. Don't let this person continue to keep you down. Okay. Let's get a couple more cards for this person that doesn't value you. This person that uses emotional blackmail. This person that, that you know, has made, your, made you, you know, feel invaluable. You are valuable. Very valuable. So I feel like whoever you are dealing with doesn't, doesn't, um, they really don't have anything to offer you. They really don't. Um, it's not a good, this person is not well suited for you. It's not a good match. This person is a Debbie Downer. They're very pessimistic. They, they're mean spirited. They like to bring people down. I'm sorry. They don't work on things. They give up. They escape. They like to escape reality. They don't want to deal with it. This person is not is lazy. You know, this person doesn't want to deal with any kind of struggle whatsoever. You know, uh, and I think that they're not going anywhere because they're weak. This person is sees you as you know. <laughs> this person is able to. It feels like this person is in control. This person isn't going anywhere. This person isn't going to go anywhere because you're you're easy. No offense. You're easy to <coughs> hurt. Okay? You're easy to hurt. You allow it. And as long as you allow it, they're going to stay. They're not going to make any moves because this person is... And I, I don't know where this is coming from, but this person feels like they are, they're a coward. And you are their... <coughs> it's like you take care of them, whoever this person is. Um, you know, maybe you need to take that next step. I feel like this person is a player. I feel like this person is a juggler. This person is is able to change their mind at any given moment. This person goes back and forth. This person is is has done this kind of thing before. This person knows exactly how to play with you, whoever this person is. Uh, this person, there's no relationship growth. There's not a lot of, there's no love. This is not love. This is not love. This is not love. And I feel like you know that. Um, you're dealing with a person that is emotionally unavailable and I think that this person may have swept you off your feet at some point could definitely be a water sign I'm not sure but whoever this person is it's like they, they probably you know it probably started out real good but this person is a it's like this person is so up and down you never know what to expect they are hurtful they are mean they they escape reality maybe with some maybe they have some addictions maybe they do drugs i don't know this person is not a good mother or they don't, they try to they try to use that against you they try to keep you stuck because you're the mother of their children whatever this person as as uses their their children perhaps as a ploy you know to keep you stuck whatever or to as you know their victim whatever whatever well, I don't know how it works out but 
because there's so many people watching this. We have we have somebody here that may use the children as some sort of ticket to get them what they want, whatever that means. This person, I feel like this person could be abusive, honestly. And I feel like this person um, doesn't have any type of emotional support to offer you, whoever you're dealing with. They're probably, you know, they probably, they probably sell a good story, but it's just a story, okay? It's not real. It's not anything that you want to hold on to, honestly. It isn't. Now let's get over here. Let's look at you. You, for some of you, if you are the woman watching this, you may have an Aries that is coming into your life. <clears throat> but you may need to break free from a commitment. You may need to break from free from a commitment that has... And maybe, and if you have already broken free, you know, maybe you're avoiding a new partnership because you were dealing with this person in the past who really sucked you dry. This person really scared you. This person really... Uh, you know, enlightened you to what the people are like, you know, so there's definitely some fear here. I feel like, you know, there's there's a, probably an opportunity for a new commitment with somebody that is a good match for you, but there's a lot of doubt and there's a lot of fear and there's a, I think there's a fear of, 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 uh, you know, getting involved, coming together with anybody else. I do, but you have to remember that there's a reason, there's a purpose why things don't work out because, we evolve, we change over time. I feel like you guys will be bringing balance back. You will be getting your mojo back. You are going through a period of healing right now. I feel like you you are um, you're going through some major changes. You're going through a transition in your life. You're not the same person that you used to be. I think you are realizing that whoever this person was that you were committed to or that you tried to whatever with, you know, I think you realize that, you know, it wasn't meant to be and you're still trying to heal. I don't think you're completely healed yet. I don't. Uh, I feel like you probably have somebody new coming into your life. I really do. I think that you have somebody new that has come in or they are coming in and this person is somebody who will give to you equally. This person, it will not be one-sided like this one was. I think this is your opportunity to receive, you know, this is like a blessing. You have some, some something coming. There's a new partnership coming. This is a blessing. It really is. A renewal. This is per whoever this person is, they will cooperate with you. They will work with you. They will give to you. It won't be one sided. It won't be this individual who is mm, nuts. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That just came out. Um. I feel like you're really holding on to your stability. You're holding on to your security. I think you're really scared. You're really scared to get involved in another commitment or another relationship or another partnership because you're 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 probably trying to keep things under control. You want to keep things structured. You want to keep things organized. You don't want to get in any chaos like you did over here. But I think that you know, maybe it's time to open up. Maybe it's time to let somebody in. I think we have somebody here who is definitely wants to give to you. They want to work with you. They want to come together with you. And I think whoever this person is that you're dealing with, I think that they are genuine. And I think that this person is, is very strong. I think this person may be at a distance. They may be heading in your direction or you may be heading in theirs. This person is determined to to stick it out. This person um, is ready to deal with your fears. They're, they want to help you to have faith again. They want you to believe again. They, they want you to trust them. I feel like you, you need to open up. I think that you're guarding yourself. You're protecting yourself because of this. 
you know, this person has made you feel less than worthy. They've made you feel like you did something wrong. I don't think that's the case. I think this person doesn't like to be held accountable for their actions. And they've, they've you know, it's like a narcissist. They, you're dealing with somebody who, you know, has stolen your energy. And now you have to find the strength to take it back. And I think you have somebody here that is coming into your life or has come into your life that is that is very... Um, loving this person is loving this person is determined to help you they're determined to help you get back on track they're they're, de they're this person is a good person so i think that you have somebody that is is coming into your life or has arrived into your life that is determined to help you whoever this person is um could be a friend could be a new new partner that wants to you know work with you they want to they want to they want to maybe they want a relationship with you and and you just need to give them a chance perhaps um it could be dealing with a cancer you could be dealing with an aries or definitely a fire sign over here i think over here you were probably dealing with a water sign or maybe even an earth sign or an air sign who just is emotionally unavailable and who really made you feel like it was all you, but it wasn't all you. I feel like you are headed into a more victorious season where you are going to be the victor, where you are going to be triumphant, where you are standing in your power, and you probably have a new relationship coming into your life. That's what I see. Good luck.